After finding a witch's totem underneath the Gladesel house, Lorraine realizes why the demon possessing David and Arne couldn't be exorcised, and why it left Arne's body after he committed the murder. The demon is not the true villain of the conjuring, the devil made me do it, but a weapon being wielded by the occultists, a practitioner of dark magic, who summoned the demon to earth and promised its souls in exchange for its service. The occultist's only goal is to sow darkness and chaos into the world. She developed an obsession with the dark arts after reading occult books gathered by her father, a priest who hunted satanic cults, and she built an altar in the old tunnels beneath her childhood home. The fact that the occultist is human makes both her and the demon all the more dangerous. Unlike Annabelle's demon which is tethered to the doll and can be trapped in the artifact room, or Vailac, who was sealed inside the monastery for many years, the demon in The Conjuring 3 has no physical limitations. It is initially attached to its victims by the witch's totem, and once it has taken possession of them it can freely leave their bodies in return, no matter how far they run.